physical properties of alkene. Okay, so let's see the physical properties of alkene. Now alkene and alkane, uh, they are pretty much the same. Alkene, alkane. Uh. For example, alkane, uh, all alkanes are insoluble in water, all alkenes are also insoluble in water. Okay, and uh, alkane cannot conduct, electric uh, cannot conduct electricity, alkene also cannot conduct electricity. Okay, and uh, alkane, the density is lower than water, alkene also the density is lower than water. They are pretty much the same. Alkene has no color, alkane also no color. Okay, but uh, in our syllabus, uh, what is important is uh, you need to know the boiling point. Okay, the boiling points of alkene. Okay, so from here, okay, this is a this is the uh, graph eh, that show the boiling points of alkene. Uh, this is in degree Celsius. Eh? Okay, okay, the unit is in degree Celsius, and from here we can see that uh, the first alkene, eh, eighteen, it has a very low uh, boiling point. Okay, it's about negative one hundred, eh? uh, more than negative negative one hundred uh, degree Celsius. Okay. Uh, for propene, it's uh, much higher, it's about negative uh, 40 or 50, okay? And then uh, butene, okay, butene, because butene has a few isomers, uh, okay? So uh, here we take but one in, eh? okay, one of the isomers of butene. That is about uh, negative 5 or 6 degrees Celsius, okay? This is uh, boiling points of alkene, okay? Okay, boiling point, eh? not the freezing point. Okay, uh, what you're referring to is water. Water low uh, is at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, lower than zero is uh, is uh, the, the freezing point is zero. But that's for water. Okay, but for alkene, no. Okay, no. What this? These are the boiling point, eh? not the freezing point. So uh, from here, okay, we can see that when the Number of carbons inside the alkene increase. Eh? Okay, these two carbon, three carbon, four carbon, five carbons, right? Okay, when the number number of carbons per molecules increases, the boiling point increases. Okay, the boiling points eh, keep on increasing from a negative about negative hundreds eh, to 120. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to know. Eh? When the number of carbons increase, the boiling point increase first. And uh seconds, you see there's a line, eh? 27 degrees Celsius, right? Okay, 27 degrees Celsius. That is the uh, room temperature in Malaysia. Okay, usually uh, we take 25 degrees Celsius as a boiling point. Eh? But in Malaysia, we know that the average uh, temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. So we take 27 degrees Celsius as a room temperature. And then uh, the first three alkene, ethene, propene, and butene, their boiling point is lower than the room temperature. So what does this mean? Okay, what does this mean? If the boiling point is lower than the room temperature, it means this three alkene exist as the gas. It, they exist as gas at room temperature, right? Okay, at room temperature, 27 degrees Celsius, they already boiled and they become gas. So these three alkenes are gas at room temperature. Okay, the others alkene. Pentene, hexene, heptene, and octene, and octene. Okay, they are liquids. They exist as liquid at room temperature. Uh, that's what you need to know. Okay, the first three alkenes, first three alkenes are gas at room temperature. Uh, if you still remember, alkane for alkane, the first four alkanes are gas at room temperature. Okay, because alkane we have methane. Okay, we have methane, that is the alkane with one carbon. So methane, ethane, propane, and butane. There are gas at room temperature. But for alkene, because we, we don't have uh, one carbon's alkene, uh, methane, we don't have methane. So we start from ethane, propane, butane. Uh, there are gas at room temperature. Okay, so two things that you need to know. Eh? The number of carbons increase, the boiling point increase, and the first three alkenes are gassed at room temperature. Some important things that you need to know about the boiling point. Yeah? So the boiling point increases as the number of carbon atoms of the molecules of alkene increases. We have discussed this just now, right? And ethene, propene, and butene are gases at room temperature. We also discussed this just now, okay? Why when the uh, number of carbon atoms in the molecules increase, then the, the boiling point increases? That is because uh, 
the only attraction force between the molecule or the intermolecular force uh, are the van der Waal force. Okay, the van der Waal force. And the van der Waal force, the strength of the van der Waal force depends on the size of the uh, molecule or the number of electrons uh, in the molecule. Okay, size of the molecules or the number of electrons in the molecules. Uh, okay. When the number of carbons increase, uh, when the number of carbons increase, uh, there will be more electrons in the molecule, right? Okay, more carbons, more electrons. Uh, okay, and more electrons, the force will become stronger. Stronger force than the boiling point and the uh, melting point uh, will be higher. So that, that is what you need to know. Uh. And let's see another graph. Okay, now this one, we compare we compare the boiling points of alkene and alkane. Boiling points of alkene and alkane. Eh? So this one eh, is the boiling point for alkane. And this is the boiling point for alkene. Eh? Okay. And uh, if we compare all the boiling points, uh, this one is the alkene, alkene and alkene with one carbon. Eh? Okay. This one is one carbon. I, uh, it's not written here. Let me write here. So this is a uh, one carbon. Oh, sorry, two carbon, uh, two carbon, because we don't have one carbon alkene. Uh, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon, five carbon, six carbon, and seven carbon. Uh, okay. Uh, if we compare, this is uh, this is ethene, this is ethene. Uh, we found that the boiling points of ethene is lower. Uh, this one also, uh, this is propene. The boiling points of propene is lower compared to propane. This one is butene and butane, and the boiling points of butene is also lower. Uh, pentene also is lower, hexene lower, and uh, this one heptene also lower. Okay, means that if we compare the boiling points of alkene and alkene, eh, the boiling points of alkene will be lower compared to the alkene. They have same number of carbons eh, per molecule. So alkene have boiling points lower than the alkanes that have same number of carbons in their molecules. That's another thing that you need to know, okay? Uh, just now we learned that when the number of carbons increase, the boiling point increase first. And uh, the first three alkenes, the first three alkenes are gas at room temperature, okay? Uh, the th another thing that you need to know is when we compare the boiling points of alkene with alkane, the boiling points of alkene is lower compared to alkane. Uh, reasons why, we will discuss that later. Okay, the first question is uh, explain why alkenes has low boiling point and melting point. I think I gave you the answer just now, right? Okay. So let's see what are the points uh, that you need to give if this question come up in your test or exam. Uh, why alkene has low boiling and a uh, melting point? Okay. Alkene exists as simple molecule covalence compound in nature. In form four, we have learned that there are two types of compound, right? Uh, ionic compound and covalent compound, right? Okay, ionic compound, covalent compound. Eh? And for uh, covalent compound, also there are two, two types. Do you still remember what are the two types of covalent compound? The simple molecule, okay? Hydrocarbon and non-hydrocarbon. Okay, hydrocarbon and non-hydrocarbons. Uh, that is, uh, that is uh, two types of organic compound. For organic compounds, uh, we divide them into hydrocarbons and non-hydrocarbon. Uh, okay, but we learn this uh, in form four covalent compound in form four. Okay, uh, there are two types: a uh, simple molecule, okay, simple molecule, and giant molecule. Okay, simple molecule is like uh, carbon dioxide, oxygen, so this simple molecule. Giant molecule, uh, the example is uh, graphite. Graphite, uh, carbon or silicon oxide. So there are two types of covalent compound, uh, simple molecule and giant molecule. For giant molecule, the boiling point and the melting points uh, are very, very high. Okay, but simple molecules, simple molecules, the melting point and boiling points are very, very low. So there are two types of uh, covalent compound, eh? okay? Simple molecule and giant molecule, okay? Uh, graphite or diamond, eh? okay? If you still remember, we have learned graphite or diamond, eh? that is uh, the giant molecule. Okay, so alkene, alkene is a covalent compound and is a simple molecule covalent compound, okay? 
alkenes uh, as is a simple molecule covalent compound. Um, for simple molecule compounds, the intermolecular force, uh, that is a force be in, uh, between the molecule. Okay, so the intermolecular force between the molecule is the weak when the wall force. For simple molecule, eh, the force is the weak when the wall force. Eh. For example, the uh, carbon dioxide molecule with another carbon dioxide molecule, eh, there is a intermolecular force. And uh, this intermolecular force, the force between the molecule is, a weak, is the weak when the wall force. Okay, now if the force is very weak means that we only need small amounts of energy eh, to overcome or to break the force. So therefore, only small amount of, of energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular force during uh, during boiling, uh, boiling or melting. Eh? We are talking about boiling or melting. Okay, boiling or melting. Okay, and uh, as a result, okay. As a result, uh, the melting point and the boiling points will be low. Okay, so these are the three points that you need to give uh, if they ask why alkene has a low melting point and boiling point. First, you tell uh, you need to tell that it's a simple mole a simple molecule covalent compound. Okay, and the intermolecular force is very weak, and therefore small amount of energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular force. Okay, second question, explain why the boiling point of alkene is lower than the corresponding alkanes that consist of same number of carbons. Huh? Just now we have, sh uh, I have shown you that uh, if the number of carbons in the molecules are the same, huh? okay, alkene has a uh, boiling point lower than alkane, right? Okay, but why? Why? Huh? Now, alkene has two hydrogen less than the alkane. That consists of same number of carbon and hence has less electrons in the molecule. For example, uh, ethene, ethene C two H four, uh, ethane C two H six, propene C three H six, propane C three H eight. Right, ethene, uh, ethane, propene, propane. So this is alkene. Uh, this is alkene. If we compare alkene with alkane eh, that has same number of carbons, then you will find that uh, the number of hydrogens of alkene is two less than alkane, right? This one four hydrogen, this one only, uh, this one six. This one six, this one eight, eh? okay? So alkene has two hydrogen less than alkane, okay? They have same number of carbons. Eh? You must compare uh, ethene with ethane, eh? okay? You cannot compare uh, ethene with uh, propane. If we compare ethene with propane, then it's, it's different, okay? So if it has so if it has less hydrogens, it will have less electrons, okay? Less electron. And if you still remember, the when the wall force between the molecule and the intermolecular force depends on the number of electrons, right? Okay. So as a result, the intermolecular force between the alkene molecules are weaker. Because the intermolecular force depends on the number of electrons. Eh? And therefore, uh, less energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular force during boiling. Okay, so that's why alkene has lower boiling or melting points uh, compared to alkane because it has two hydrogen less than alkane. So the number of electrons is uh, less and uh, the intermolecular force is weaker. Okay, explain why when the number of carbon uh, atoms in an alkene molecule increases, the boiling points of alkene will also become higher. Okay, I think we, ex we explained it just now, right? Okay, uh, so the first point is uh, when the number of carbons in the molecule increases, the size of the molecule increases. You can say the size of the molecule increases or you can say the number of electrons per molecule increases, okay? Uh, for me, I prefer this one, number of electrons, eh? okay? Per molecule increases, but some of the book they will tell you that the uh, the size of the molecule increases. Okay, but for me, I think so this is more uh, accurate compared to the size. Eh? Okay, number of electrons per molecule increases. Okay, and if the number of molecules increases, then the intermolecular force between the molecule becomes stronger, and uh, less energy is needed to overcome the inter. Oh, sorry, this one is more energy is needed. Eh? Okay. Because uh, 
uh, we have more electrons, uh, more electrons, more energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular force during boiling. Boiling, okay. Uh, see, the answer is about the same, eh? okay. But you must know this, okay, because uh, this is a famous question in uh, your your test or exam. Uh? Your teacher always asks this. Uh, also in SPM, eh? okay. Usually when question come out uh, related to alkene alkenes, they will ask you the boiling points, okay. Solubility and conductivity, as I told you just now, is uh, same as alkane, right? It's insoluble in water, but uh, soluble in organic solvents, and uh, it does not. Uh, all alkenes do not conduct electricity. 